Okay, let's toss the fact that he completely rips off James and that he completely <clears throat> rip, embraced the law by removing videos that aren't, you know, that aren't infringing copyright. What other reason is there to hate him? Well, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about in his video games. He said in this thank you for the subscribe subscribers video that he's been playing these games for over 20 years and he knows all the ins and outs, yet he can't even... Yet he can't even say that there's more than one version of Turtles in Time. There are three versions of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. There's the original arcade version, the Super Nintendo port, and the Hyperstone Heist, which is essentially Turtles in Time for the Sega Genesis, but it's also called Return of Shredder in, in Japan. He says he's been playing these games for 20 years and knows everything about them, yet he, can't, yet he doesn't even know that there's more than one version of Turtles in Time. It is... I, I'm quoting him. <clears throat> released only on the Super Nintendo, it was unclear why Turtles in Time was released only on Super Nintendo. You mean to tell me you call yourself a game fan and you think it's only re released for Super Nintendo? Also, I want to go back to my Muscle video very quick. When um, he reviewed Muscle, it was embarrassing. Because he's supposed to be this true gamer. And he's saying shit that a complete idiot would. Like, he's saying that, you know, oh, in Muscle, there's no combo system. Who would you expect it to be? SmackDown vs. Raw? It's a fucking Nintendo game. And looking back at his video, he did say that you can slam enemies. But that doesn't, ex but that doesn't excuse the fact that he sucks at this game. He, he's, he, like I said before, he said you can only, like, punch, jump, kick, Body slam, and there's not much else. There's no special moves or combo system. Well, first of all, there's no combo system because the game's too primitive to include that. Second of all, there are special moves that have shown that you can do them. Do them. And basically, he made a nine minute review bitching about the lack of features. I love it. I freaking love it. You know, he goes and bashes muscle for not having a combo system, yet he goes to pro wrestling, which doesn't have a combo system, and even less characters. But it's a stupid idea to begin with to compare a game a game to a better game. Even especially if the better game came out after the game he's originally reviewing. He also sucks at the games too. Have you seen his Ghosts and Goblins review? Jesus Christ. You'd think he was dying on purpose. I mean, yeah, it's hard. The game's hard, but that doesn't mean it sucks. I mean look at Super Mario Bros. 3. In the later levels, it could be unforgiving at times, but that the people still regard it as a great game. Ghosts and Goblins, I'm going to admit something right now. I'm a great I'm a great game player, but I cannot beat Ghosts and Goblins for the life of me. But that doesn't mean I think the game sucks. It's a classic game. And the reason why the game's so hard? Simple. Whenever Capcom was porting their classic arcade games to the Nintendo, they wanted the arcade experience to be as authentic as possible. So, what'd they do? They upped the difficulty. Like in the original arcade version. And speaking of which, in his review, he sucked so much in the original Nintendo version that he had to switch back and forth to the arcade version on MAME so that he can use God Mode. How pathetic. Not to mention the fact that when he's talking about there's no armor that you can get to refuel your armor, which there is, it's just craftily hitting, hidden. He's saying, oh, hearts will refuel your health in Castlevania. This is a sin against God to any Castlevania fan. Talk to Lewis, he'll know. He's, he was pissed about this. Nobody, not n not even the best, not even people who really haven't played Castlevania. Nobody would assume in the in the world of Castlevania that hearts refuel your health. Food that's been lying on the floor for God knows how long refuels your health. The hearts refuel your item usage. And I love the fact that he keeps talking about the fact that he's doing research on the games he like. Doki Doki, like his Super Mario Brothers 2 review, Doki Doki Panic. You know, he keeps talking about how he does research. No true gamer would have to do research on this shit. He's bragging about how he's been playing these games for 20 years, yet he still has to do research on them? Pathetic. His most controversial review has to be his Halloween review, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. When I first saw the title screen, I was thinking, no way. Now he's desperate. Now he's really desperate now that the people are onto him. I tried giving him a chance. I tried 
to make it delusional in my mind that this guy was a good reviewer, that maybe he was just inspired by James Rolfe and he's trying to develop his own character. Well, I was dead wrong. I'm going to admit to you, I used, I thought he was okay, but then I saw the error of my ways and I unsubscribed to him. I think he's a terrible reviewer. I honestly do. I mean, look at his, look at his Zombies Ate My Neighbors review. He's bitching about the title screen. Because it's called Zombies Ain't My Neighbors, but you fight more than zombies. Are you kidding me? He's not even five minutes in the game. He's already bitching about the title screen? What do you want? That's like bitching about ghosts and goblins, because there's more than ghosts and goblins. Or bitching about... Help me out here. Wizards and Warriors, because there's more than witches and warriors. Or Dungeons and Dragons, because there's more than Dungeons and Dragons. The title screen's not the reason why you play the game. Come on. And... And I love the fact that he bitches about how ridiculous the weapons are. How ridiculous the weapons are. It's a parody game. It's not supposed to be serious. It's not supposed to make sense. So, of course, there's going to be exploding bomb pops and water guns as weapons. Why? Because it's a parody. It's supposed to not make sense. Not to mention the ant level that Lewis epically owned him on. Speaking of which, I just want to change the subject very quick. Lewis, you did an awesome job at exposing the Irate Gamer. I got I to gotta give you props for that, man. Here's the, here's the whole skinny. Lewis made a video on how the Irate Gamer sucks on uh, his review of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. He was pissed because he is a Konami fan, and he loves Konami games. And I've had, I haven't played a Konami game I haven't liked except for that god-awful Bomberman X-Zero. But... I